Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. News Art Class. It's wonderful to see your smiling faces today. In last week's video, I showed another 12 patterns that you can create, and a lot of them that I showed in last week's video are the kind of pattern that follows along a path. And today I wanted to create a tile and show you how to use those kinds of patterns. Just like usual when we're creating a tile, I will start with a dot near each corner and make a border. And then I'll make a string. Now these strings are going to act as guides for the different pathway crossing patterns. For example, maybe along this string, I want to have this pattern where there's a white path with little flowery shapes behind it. Now maybe along this top part of the string, I want to make this kind of pattern. And it is okay to go outside of the board. And perhaps for this last bit of the string, I'd like to use this pattern. Notice that I'm overlapping it behind the patterns I've already done. So there I've used the strings as guides for some of these patterns that take a path. And now I just fill these extra spaces exactly the same way I would with any other patterns. Now in this one, I want to fill the background, but if I fill it black, then it will just blend with this outline around this pattern, and I'm not sure if I want that. It may be okay, but I have some options. If I fill the background with cross hatching instead of filling it all the way black, then it will look like an extra layer. Yeah, I think that turned out really good. As always, I've left links in the description for all of the supplies that I used or talked about in this video. And those are affiliate links, which means if you use them, it directly supports this channel and it helps me keep these videos coming to you. If you want to be part of Mr. News Art Class, subscribe for weekly beginner art tips on Thursdays and new Zentangle videos every Sunday. And thanks again for watching. I hope I was able to inspire you today.